Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. You read the title correct. The curry slide is back. And I'm not talking about one time. I'm talking about two, three, four times. The curry slide spam is back. Don't believe me? Pay attention right here. Boom, boom. Now, in the clips you're about to see and in the gameplay against the SS3, one of my subs, you're going to see that I really wasn't spamming it like that. You see, I just did it again right there because I'm trying to show y'all how to effectively use it. Because when you spam the curry slide in any 2K, right, it's going to drain your stamina upon a different level, dog. All right. Even with Gym Rat and Double Gatorade. All right. It's going to drain your stamina. And you don't want to just be keep spamming one move. You want to have fun and combo up. Now. It's a, it's a good thing. I ain't gonna lie, man. A lot of people don't expect it, but it's a good combo to throw in right here. You see, it got me open from the hash. This is my T-Mac build, my 6-7 small forward T-Mac build, by the way. I ended up taking an L on my Michael Jordan build against Hezzy, one of my subs, and they caught us lacking, man. It was not it was not the time to use my MJ bill. He's only a 91 overall with not even close to having max pass, but pay attention to the, to the trader in the middle, dog. He a beast on the on the Knights team. Now I ain't gonna lie, the Knights unis looking clean. My boy running and exquisite. They, them boys certified. All right, SS1 and SS3, they certified. All right, and I'm running with Robo, and uh, uh, this is the the veteran squad right here. All right, we were on Twitch live streaming. Squizzit was in the chat, you know, letting us know. Oh snap, we are going against him. So I'm like, okay, let's lock in, man, man. The only bad thing about it was they were on the wrong servers. But you know me, I'm taking advantage of that. Just like Hezzy took advantage of me on the wrong build, I'm going to take advantage of it. And I got the easy dunk. Immediately, I could tell a difference on my small forward build that was actually finished. Then my 6'6 six, six shooting guard, it dribbled faster. As you see, they played running. I would have been pissed off if that happened to me, dog. I can't lie to you. I would have been real mad. But they ended up getting the ball back because Ant didn't see that that was the other team. I would have done the same thing because... How the heck you got another teammate of our affiliation on your team? That's some bogus stuff right there. Now they get an easy bucket. I'm just trying to score quickly, man. I'm not here trying to do fancy stuff. I'm just trying to get a bucket. And I was able to get some breathing room to let that big send it drop. All right, now we got a one possession game. You got Exquisite coming down. You know, he's trying to combo up with the latency of being on the wrong servers as well. And he gets an easy dunk. All right, now it's looking like a one-point game, so we got to be careful, dog. All right, we can't sell out the ting, dog. If we don't capitalize, punt this right now. It's going to be over by item with the double curry, the curry spam, and it kind of set me up to get that easy dunk. There's absolutely no need to force the threes on next gen if you don't need to force the threes. Once you're up by three points, you need to capitalize. Don't give the threes, and make sure you capitalize on taking them twos and running up the lead. Now, running was open on that three-pointer, but with the, the nature of this game, you don't know what's really open. Like right here, boom, Exquisite thought he was open, but I was right there contesting him without even having my hands up. That's the crazy part, bro. My hands weren't even up, and they gave me a good contest on that. Now, I, I'm going to the lane all day. Like I said, once we got the lead, this is. let me just give you a quick advice, man. And I'm pretty sure running and Exquisite already know this. The umbrain in the middle, the traitor in the middle, we don't give no respect. All right. But once you have the lead, you must capitalize on the lead. I'm talking about you must put your foot on that lead and press down. All right. And you must run that lead up and stop trying to be fan. This is not the generation console to do that on. On current gen and on 2K20, yes, you can have some fun because there's a real skill gap on this game. There's no skill gap. As you see, running fades it from the corner. I was totally not expecting that. Hats off to him. He made it a two-point game. So now, I'm about to get takeover. And I got to just go ahead and get a bucket, bro. I'm not doing nothing fancy. He's full court pressing. When they're full court pressing on this game, hey, I'm just going to run straight to the paint if they let me. All right, I'm not going to do nothing crazy. I try to get a bump steal, and he could have made me pay big time. That probably would have gave me takeover with hot shot. But... It didn't. He didn't make it. And my boy Ant, my boy Ant, secures the lead even more. They need two three-pointers to get back in the game. I'm guarding two at once because we're kind of confused, bro. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's weird guarding when you see four beast uniform on the court, bro. <laughs> what kind of cheese is this, 2K? 
I mean, can 2K get one event right? Anyways, he's full court pressing. I'm running. I'm not doing none of that dribbling stuff right now. We're just going to run around and shoot that thing, bro. You got to... I told y'all, to win on this game, you got to play like a bot, bro. The art of, you know, being comp and just being fancy all day, every day. That stuff is, 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 is good and all. But guess what? It don't matter when a bot can go left, right, left, right and go crazy. Now, I feel bad for um, Squiz right there because he full barred it. That really should have been a green, but 2K said nope. And right here, I tried to hit a little fade, so I had a sharp badge, but it didn't drop. That was just on me. But y'all already see I was already doing the, the double curry a couple times just to show y'all like, hey, even in comp games like this, now look at this right here, man. That, that needs to be removed from the game 100%, bro. Look at this, bro. Y'all see this? That's what we lost to. All right, I know Hezzy's good and all, but that was the game this, this, he dunked on me and Robo from doing that from the three-point line, bro. <laughs> that move is tough. And right here, you see me hit the double curry, and I really could have went to the paint immediately off after it, but you know what? I, I kept dribbling, and I sold the clip. But my boy Robo was able to put the foot down and finish the game off. Now, we still up by seven. This game is ours for the taking. Unless a miracle happens, bro. And I still got a little takeover left, but it does not matter. But y'all know what it is, man. The dog dog on time, dog. All right. The real bot man, the real team mock build, the demi build. But I set different trends, dog. It's that time of the day, lock badge versus the end of sharp badge. I ain't doing nothing fancy right now, dog. He knows that I was going to go. Hey, see, see, that's how smart running is. He knew I wasn't going to do the same thing because he was pressing me with badge. So I get in the lane and I get the easy dunk after resetting. It's, it's a tough game, bro. This is a tough game. Shout out to Exquisite and running. You know, it sucks that they weren't on their own servers. But I wanted to show y'all that even in a comp game, the curry spam is gonna get you right and here's some more you know gameplay with my team make build you know some of them are curry slides some of them are not it's just me messing around with the sig that i just released to y'all you know just messing around with it i'm not releasing this curry slide tutorial no time soon bro all right the game needs some patches and stuff before i can even release this and not only that if Robo want to release it, I'm going to let him release it. All right. Because he showed he told me what to do and I just figured it out. All right. So if he wants to release it, I'm going to let him release it. And after he release it, I'm going to release it for y'all. All right. But if not, we just going to wait it out and see when we really want to show y'all how to do it. Because I'm not lying. You can do it three, four, five, six times in a row. Do you need to do it that much times in a row? No. Because just like on current gen, it's not worth doing that much times in a row when you can just combo up, bro. Just learn, learn how to combo up. That's all you got to do. Now, I got some new combos, man. That's a, hey, some combos that I was doing on current gen that, hey, man, that when I actually get to take it to the park, I've been grinding my, my MJ build, my six foot six shooting guard MJ build, you know, because I'm, I was tired of, I was tired of not moving as fast as my small forward and dribbling as fast as my small forward, bro, because you can immediately tell a difference this is my small forward moving like this. My guard doesn't move like this right now because his ball handling is lower and his speed is lower just because he's not a 96, 97 yet. When he's a 96, 97, he's going to pass up my small forward at a 98 overall. All right. Now, obviously, my small forward gets way better badges and stuff, but the speed on my shoe guard and defense. Oh, my gosh, bro. That build is going to be that build is gonna be an all-around monster so i'm in the lab grinding it i just got gym rat on it i'm trying to get it to a 97 98 before i take it out to the park again and then i'm gonna you know be able to just choose between the t-mac build and the, and the rookie mj build all right that's when i'm gonna really be able to be like you know what i'm gonna have some fun with this and if i want the builds i released both builds already you see me hit the double curry right there I could have kept it going, but hey, we wanted to be a little fancy. Shot clock was running out. Unfortunately, I didn't get that green to drop. All right, I didn't get that that green to drop. Once I get Mamba takeover, I'm putting on the fades, and it's gonna be over with. Now, when it comes to how I still feel about this game, this is what I want for Christmas. I want y'all to hit that like button one. But the way I feel about this game, dog, as you see, I hit that big send it. Is I want them to drop a patch for Christmas, man that's gonna basically 
make the gameplay at least like I'd say current gen, bro. At least like current gen gameplay when it comes to the speed of the dribbling and stuff like that, man. And add the old moves they took out, like give us back Pro 5 and Pro 6 behind the back. You know, give us the fast momentum back again, bro. And give us the rest of the six they took out the game. All right, it's already in the game, bro. Just go ahead and, and, and give it to us again, bro. Y'all know y'all can do it. You see the double curry. Now, this was actually against um Hezzy and um, I don't know the other people, but this was against Hezzy. And this was my MJ build, bro. I was not dribbling as fast. I was messing up on my combos, as y'all saw. And it's not because of me. It's because the dribbling was so different and so much more delayed. As you see early in the video, when I was using my small four, the, the combos was looking immaculate. But on this game, I was like, I'm not going to sell this game. Out. Let me sit in the corner, bro. I'm selling out too much. The combo's not hitting. And then after this game, I went and got my small forward. And we ain't lose again, bro. It, the rest was history. Y'all saw what we were doing with the small forward. All right. But anyways, big up myself. Follow me on Twitch. We were live streaming this whole thing. Big up the Lord. I might cause all the candle. Ah, G-Bone, I don't know the sink. Y'all might get me gone.